Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. I hope you've had a great start to your week. The weather is absolutely beautiful, so I hope you've taken time to go outside, soak up some sunshine, because that just makes us feel so much better. So I'm going to start our video with a couple of ways to de-stress at home and boost your mood. Um, I like to start our videos that way now. So the first way is give yourself affirmations. Can y'all say that word? Affirmations. That's a really big word, right? So let's talk about what that means. These positive messages you send to yourself can reduce stress. So I know you're probably thinking positive messages you send to yourself. What does that even look like? So you choose an affirmation like, I am calm. I can handle this. I feel relaxed. I'm confident. I can do this. Those are positive affirmations that you tell yourself and they can really help reduce stress. And then repeat those positive affirmations to yourself 10 times. So that's one way. And then the next one, feel appreciation. Okay. So you're going to think of something or someone that you really care about. And it could be a family member. It could be a pet. It can be an activity you love to do, but you're going to focus on that one thing and you're just going to really take time to think about why you love it. Why do you care about it? Okay, so that's just feeling appreciation for something that is important to you. All right, so today's activity is going to be therapeutic word art. That's a mouthful, isn't it? So can you all say that? Therapeutic word art art. This is a really fun activity. It's probably going to take you um, a couple of days to do, and you'll see why in just a few minutes when I show you how to do it. Um, this is a really good thing to do when you just need a brain break or you need some time to dump your thoughts uh, onto paper. But words we know can be very powerful. Words can lift us up. Words can bring us down. Words can describe how we're feeling. They are very powerful to us. So that's why I thought it would be good to maybe focus on some words that describe what you're going through and how you're feeling right now. So the first thing that you're going to do is just get a clean sheet of paper and something to write with. Now, this is therapeutic word art, and so you're going to have to actually write words. So I would suggest that you pick a tool that is easy to write with. So colored pencil or maybe those thin markers. Um, you could use the bigger, fatter markers. Your words just may be a little bit bigger, and that's okay. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You can use crayons if you want to, but find something that's comfortable for you and that's comfortable to you. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot out of the way and I'm gonna bring my paper forward so you can kind of see how to get this started, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the word part of it. All right, so hopefully I'm gonna do my best so that you can see this. All right, so here's my white sheet of paper. And what you're going to do is just pick something that you want to draw. So that's the first step to this. It can be um, something that you love. It could be a picture of a dog or a picture of a person. It could just be a big heart. Um, it could be a whole scene of something. So I'm going to do a spring scene because it's springtime and it makes me happy. So. The first thing I'm actually gonna put on my spring scene though is a thunder cloud. And you may be thinking, huh, I thought this was supposed to be happy, positive. Well, not necessarily everything is going to be happy and positive on this. So I'm gonna draw a spring thunder cloud and a bolt of lightning, okay? And guys, there is no right or wrong way to do this. Um, you just need to do your best. I'm not a, the greatest artist, but I'm just going to do my best. This is for me. Do some raindrops. Okay. So that's the first part. The next thing I'm going to draw is a sun. I'm just going to draw it up in the corner like that. I've got a yellow and an orange, and I'm actually going to have a little fun with this and put the two together to make the sunbeams. Okay. So I've got my sun. And then down at the bottom, I'm gonna draw just some grass. Again, I'm not the best artist, but I'm doing, doing what I can, okay? So I've got some grass, and then I'm just gonna draw maybe a couple of flowers because it is springtime and the flowers are blooming and they're so pretty. So I'm gonna draw a couple of flowers, okay? And I'm gonna make some pretty big petals on my flowers so I have plenty of room to write in them, okay? 
that is not the best petal, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. So that's my seam that I'm going to use for this project. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to think about words that describe how you're feeling right now. And that's what I said, you could do this over a couple of days. So maybe you stop and take one brain break and you do one word. And then you stop and take another brain break and you do another word. Um, or you can choose all your words because maybe you're feeling a lot of things right now that you can use to fill in. So I'm going to start with my flowers. And a word that comes to mind is bored. I am feeling a little bored right now because I can't go do the things that I normally do. So I'm just going to pick one of my petals and I'm going to write the word bored. Now you can see I didn't write it really big. I kind of wrote it small and I'm going to explain to you why in just a minute. So I've got bored in this one. Um, in my other one, I'm going to put, um, let's see, maybe relaxed. Okay, because I am feeling pretty relaxed right now. I don't have a lot of huge stressors. Um, and then in my grass, I think I'm going to put the word thankful. All right. And then in my thundercloud, this is going to be a word that maybe is not as positive. Um, I'm feeling a little lonely right now because I don't get to be around friends and family um, and I don't get to be around you guys and I really miss that interaction. So lonely is going to go in my thundercloud. Okay. And then in my sun, I do feel pretty positive about things. Um, so I'm going to put positive up there. Okay. And then the last part is going to be just my whole sky, right? Which is this whole big area right here. So I think I'm going to put the word um, creative in there. So, okay. I'm just going to use this lighter color. So I'm going to put the word just anywhere on here, creative. Okay. So there is my scene. I'm going to take this down so I can show it to you. Okay. All right, so you can see my scene right here, okay? And I've got a word for each part of my scene, okay? Now, like I said, you can draw any scene you want. Your words can be as big or little as you want, um, but when you write a little bit smaller, your whole project turns out kind of cool. So what you're going to end up doing is rewriting all of these words that you chose to fill in all the space of each part of your picture. Okay, so for instance, in my son, I wrote the word positive. I'm going to keep writing the word positive as many times as it will fit in my son. For my thundercloud, I wrote the word lonely. So I'm going to put lonely in here as many times as I can fit and so forth. Okay, and then down here, thankful. So I'm going to put thankful as many times as I can fit in the bottom. Okay, and what you end up with Pretty cool. You guys can see that. My whole picture has now turned into words. Okay. You can swirl them. You can make all different patterns with them. If you are super patient and creative, you don't have to actually draw an outline of your scene. You can start doing it in the words. So instead of like drawing my thundercloud outline, I could actually write the word lonely to make the thundercloud outline. Um, and your whole picture could just be created by words. So if you're super creative and patient, you could do it that way. Um, like I said, you can do the words bigger, you can do them smaller. But if you can see, there's a lot of words on this page. And if I were to sit down and do this in one sitting, my poor hands would probably look like this afterwards. So that's why I said it's probably a good idea to do this in little pieces throughout the day. Um, if you're a little bit younger and you're still working on your writing skills, that's great. This is a great way to do that. Um, so you may take even a little bit longer to work on yours and maybe write your words a little bit bigger so that your hands don't get too tired. So that is your therapeutic word art. I would love nothing more to, um, than to see what yours looks like. So you can have um, your picture or take a picture of yours and um, have your parents email it to me at LLI cht at neisd.net. I would love to see how they turn out. I hope you guys take time to do this throughout the week because like I said, it's just a really good way to take those words and feelings that you have in your head and get them out. 
Um, and it's just really therapeutic to talk about how you're feeling. You could use this picture to talk to somebody in your house about how you're feeling right now. Um, I know we're all feeling a little bit of stress and have a lot of different words to kind of describe us. So this would be a great conversation starter as well. So send them to me if you have a chance. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later.